Hello everyone, today I will show you my eternal terrariums and how they are doing. This one I've created about 40 days ago, this one about 20, these two about at the same time of this one, and these two little ones I can't remember when, and that's it. I'm gonna tell you how they're going and how they looked at the beginning. First, let's start off with my first terrarium I made. First of all, the first day I created it, it, ha it had only moss and a little plant, which we can't see anymore because it was a spring plant and now it is summer. So it is almost summer, so there is no more of them. So, at the second day, I decided to, to poke a hole because there was some uh, worms in it and I thought they were, weren't able to breathe because I know plants do oxygen, but there wasn't a lot. So, that's it. It's going pretty well. You can see there's a lot of water condensation of walls. Like all of these plants growing right now, I didn't plant none of these. And it's, go it's going really, really well. I'm uh, surprised it's still alive. Look, we can even see grass. Check out how many roots there are. Look at the big white one. It looks like a big worm. Just look, there it was only 5 days into creation, there it was 30 days into creation. This is how it looks now. Now I'm going to show you how my big terrarium is going. At first there was nothing, there was only soil and rocks at the bottom for the drainage. And after 5 days I decided to put a colony of little insects in it. I'm going to show you a picture of the insects because I don't know the name in English. Here you can see the plants keep growing and there is this large, this long plant that is almost going to touch the ceiling. As you can see, we can't see really well because there's a lot of condensation. But you can see that from dirt there can be a lot of plants that can appear. And I don't think you can see it, yeah you can see it a little there, there's a lot of forest moss. If you were wondering, the wood louse's house is the wood. You can see one which is hiding there. This is how it looked at the very beginning. Look how it looks now. Now, let's move on to the smaller terrarium. Let's look at the first one. This one is my favorite. I planted nothing in it, just like this one. You can see little plants growing on the side. Also, let's open it up. Look, there are teeny plants growing. As I said, there's a little moss. The green stuff on the side is moss. Now let's check out how the second one is growing. It's still alive. At first, I put moss and a stick in it. As you can see, the moss on the sides. Let's open it up. As you can see, you can see the stick and the moss. The moss has grown significantly that by the time I put it in the terrarium. Look the tiny plant there. I haven't planted this one. Maybe it grew from the soil. Now I will show you how these two terrariums are going. I created them about 35 days ago, almost at the same time as the big one. First of all, let's check out this terrarium. I'm surprised that it's still alive. First of all, I put a lot of plants in it, but I can see a lot of them that I haven't planted yet. I planted a little bit of grass and look how big it is. And also, a big new plant has grown. The big poles there has grown up to the ceiling and I'm afraid to open the container because everything will burst out. And also, the moss has grown significantly. Now let's move on to this one. I'm pretty sad because this one is all dead, it's not going very well, you can't really see because I haven't uh, put much effort in this one, it's not a very good terrarium. I think I'll just empty it in the forest and start a new one with this jar. Thanks for watching! If you want more terrarium videos like this one or a tutorial how to make one, please smash the like button down below or even subscribe. Thank you for watching.